This place is rocking. The home opener is coming up next. Hello from San Francisco, California. We're live at Oracle Park, Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Kansas City Royals taking on the San Francisco Giants. John Shambi on play-by-play. -play. Chris Singleton providing the color. The cameras are out for this one, partner. Home openers are unique and always bring a special type of energy to the ballpark. Today is a celebration. It is the beginning of a new year, and there's no other game like this one on the schedule. It's the first time playing inside your home stadium with your brand-new teammates, and you know the fans are going to bring the energy. The excitement is already building in here. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just a little bit away from first pitch, and on the hill, Kazuo Kato. Yeah, Boog made his Major League debut last time out, came away with the victory. That's huge for a young kid. He'll look to make it two wins in a row, get his career off to a really good start. All right, ready to go here. Stepping in, number 11. For Kansas City, the third baseman, Michael Garcia. And a pitch. That misses, and we're underway here in the home opener. First pitch, 145. Two balls, no strikes to count. And a pitch. That split is a pretty nasty pitch. Explodes out of the hand, looks like a fastball, and the bottom just falls out of it. The next offering misses. Now three and one. And that one is lifted in the air. Makes the grab one away. And here now, the lineup for the Royals. Singing, we're looking at a really young lineup here, so not much experience, but it also means they're going to bring a lot of energy to the table most days. Well, we're in a golden age of young players. I mean, these players, they're getting up to the majors. They're dominating from a young age, bringing home plenty of hardware early in their careers. I mean, before they even get to free agency. So, you know, when you consider all of that, I love seeing the kind of energy that a team like this brings to the yard every day, day in and day out. One and two. Popped up. And there's two down. Now here's that Bobby Witt Jr. He's turned into one of the Bobby best shortstops Witt in the game. Jr. Bobby Witt Jr., a second-generation big leaguer. His dad won 142 games in the show. The Royals made Bobby Jr. the number two overall pick in the 2019 draft right after Adley Rutschman, and he made his debut in 2022, finished behind Julio Rodriguez, Rutschman, and Stephen Kwan for Rookie of the Year. Great crop of rookies. And down on strikes he goes. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Royals bats are quiet there. And now we'll see what the Giants can do. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back. Towing the slab in today's game. Brady Singer. Yeah, he was a tough luck loser last time out, dominating his opponent. Soft contact. They were able to score a couple of runs, but outside of that, everything was sharp. You hope that he gets a better result this time out. Reward the guy for his hard work. Bottom of the first. And digging in for San Francisco, Billy Hill. Clips the corner. That's strike one. And a foul ball. K 
kicks and fires. And there's a ball. And a ball and two strikes. Bounce to the right side. Massey. Over to first. One up, one down. All right, let's take a look at the lineup. The challenge for him today, Singy, elevating the baseball against this sinker baller that's on the mound. Yeah, that's the challenge, but it also might affect the way they approach base running in this one, Boog. You get a runner on first, you anticipate trajectory down, and when the ball's in the dirt with a good secondary lead, you break for second. So whether it's a stolen base or not, you stay out of the double play, get that runner in a scoring position, and that can help you put more runs on the board. B-I-D, ball in dirt. One down, base is empty. Lined, and that's a base hit. You Money, the next giant to hit. He was one for four back on Wednesday. There's a strike. Oh, one. Peanuts at first, one gone. Next pitch inside, and the count even one and one. Money checks his swing. Now it appealed to first. Nope, he held back. Here comes a pitch. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. Now all even up. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Back-to-back -back singles. Cool. I really like that swing, pass. man. He didn't just really push it the other way through cool. the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box, got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. So up next, Terry Thorne. Didn't play in the day game yesterday, so he should be fresh for this one. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boog. And that one finds its way through. And they hold the runner at third, but the bases are loaded now with one out. Oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. Didn't make quality contact on the ground ball to the pull side, but sometimes it's just a matter of finding the hole in the defense. So digging in, Dean McQueen. Yeah, that's in there for strike one. All loaded up, dangerous hitter at the plate. And that one fouled off. And I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. And the 0-2. Just a slow ground ball this time. In plenty of time to first. Now two away as they get a run across. Jody, home run. The next giant to hit. He was one for four back on Wednesday. Oh, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. On the ground, right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. One run in the inning, but they leave two. We head to the second from San Francisco. It's the Giants one and the Royals nothing. Back here at Oracle Park, second City. inning set to go. And to the plate for Kansas Nelson. City, Nelson Velasquez. Cato back to work. No, that's down. That oh. one missed. Rip to short. Tosses to first. One out in the second. 
Edward Olivares steps in for the Royals. Sat out last night's game, but back in there today. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Well, he threw that fastball right by him. Gives him a little bit of confidence, but in the back of your mind, you got to think, is he trying to set me up for later in this at bat? Ball one there. Our umpire behind the plate, Jerry Hillsdale. High praise for Jerry when we talk to people around the game. Yeah, no doubt about it, Boog. He's very straightforward, very oh. consistent back there. So most of the time, you're not even going to think about him. That's a good thing. He swings and fouls one off. Pitch misses there, and now it's three and two. What about an umpire's height? How much of a role does that play in your experience and what the strike zone is like? Yeah, I think it pushes the strike zone up a little bit, which, you know, as a former hitter, you like that. You wanted the ball up. You didn't want to have to deal with stuff down in the zone consistently. And next up for the Royals, Michael Massey. In there for strike one. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. Now fly ball to right center. Hill going back. I bounce takes it over the fence. That's an automatic double. Well, there's something really nice about getting yourself an automatic double like that. You get to stroll into second base without having to worry about a throw or getting your uniform dirty. And now you're just looking for the next guy to kind of do the same thing. Maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well. Here's Nick Prado. First pitch, and he just misses. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. And fouled off. The next pitch misses, and it's two and one. Massey at second with two down. And the pitch. That's the ball. Number 88 next up for Kansas City. Payoff pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. To third, Thorne. Fires across the diamond, and that will end the inning. One hit, one left. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Giants one and the Royals nothing. Back here in San Francisco and now the DH Chip Fielder. The designated hitter Chip Fielder. The why to kick the pitch. That misses and that's ball one. And that one is in for a strike. One and one. One one now. There's a swing and a miss. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Right side, Velasquez on the move. Makes the catch. And there's one away. Maybe caught that one off the end the just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel Noodle. it up enough to really drive it. And up next for the Giants, Lou Noodles. He was one for four back on Wednesday. That misses off the outside edge. One oh. So two balls and no strikes. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. And there's a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Rips that one center field. He dives, but can't hang on. That's a base hit. He was 
all over that one. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. Country boy Mitchell, the next giant to hit. Rip to first, caught! And yeah, they put the tag on him. That's the third out inning over. We play two innings. It's one to nothing. Back here at the ballpark, here's the catcher, number 88. Cato back to work. And that's outside. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. Clearly he was geared up for the fastball right there. Maybe got a little jumpy and excited out of the hand, but he certainly didn't miss a stitch. Swing and a base hit. And now it's Kyle Isbell. Good contact guy, good defender. Going one. Going one. At the belt and fires. And ball one. Oh, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. And a ground ball to first. Into the outfield base hit. Lead runner to second. So two on and nobody out. Back to the top of the lineup. Now at the plate, number 11. Slide to right his first time. In the air, left field, home run. Under it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one down. Two on, one out. Dyrone Blanco, the next to hit. He's over one. In the dirt. Nothing happening on the bases, though. One out. Runners at first and second. In the air, out towards right center. Hill glides to his left. Can't get there. Base hit. Runner around third on his way to the plate. The run scores. Here comes a second. He's in there. It's 2-1. Nicely done. Brings home two. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. One down. Here's the shortstop at the play. Bobby Witt Jr. And there's a ball. Blanco stands a third with one gone in the inning. And now two and nothing. Two balls, two balls no strikes. Kicks and deals. And another oh. ball. Swing and a miss. And it's three two and one. one. Three balls, one strike. Base hit, and a run comes in. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Runner on at first with one gone. Now it's the right fielder, Nelson Velasquez. In there, and it's 0-1. Velasquez measures six feet even, 24 years old, and he was born in Puerto Rico. Next offering misses, and that is ball one. Now move to first, and he's back safely. The 
one one runner on the go swing and a miss bro and they got him that goes to show you stealing a base is a tough thing to do and far from a sure thing even with big time speed it's not easy to catch him but that was a great catch and throw quick not rushed and accurate Two balls, no two strikes to count with two outs. Swings and misses, struck him out. Three runs for him here, and they move ahead. We head down to the home half of inning number three. It's the Royals three and the Giants one. Set for the bottom of the third. Go, Digging in, it's the Giants. speedy outfielder, Billy no, Hill. Billy Hill. The wind of the pitch. Well, after yeah. putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, one, one. this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, Little get the bats back up there while they're hot. The wind of the pitch. Ripped on a line to center. Dive in, it gets down. Could be extra bases. They're still chasing it as he rounds second. Passes third, he wants it all. Safe, he comes all the way around for an inside the park home run. Well, they call it one of the most exciting plays in baseball for a reason, Boog. Always fun to see an inside the parker. And man, he was flying out of the box. And I think that by the time he was getting a second, he had it in his mind to go all the way. That's his great hustle from start to finish. And up next for San Francisco, Hud Peanuts. And first offering is fouled off. That one missing inside. The real threats are coming up. Already given up a home run in this inning. It's going to really have to bear down. Now this is in the air down the line. Tries to make the play, but it's foul. The pitch. And now it's filled up. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. And a swing and a miss. Now one away. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. 3-2. He goes that. off speed. Gets the out. And now it's going to be you Money. And he's already singled in this game. And that one ripped to left. And foul ball. On the ground to the left, and it goes just foul. And the righty deals. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Wow, just great bite to that slider. Broke hard out of the zone, and he just couldn't hold up the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to take, and there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. Here's the third baseman, Terry Thorne. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. A little bit low. Nope. Out towards right center field. Blanco drifts towards it. 
And makes the play, and that's out number three. One hit in the inning, a solo homer. Three innings complete. It's the Royals three and the Giants two. And welcome back. Moving All set for the Andrew start Andrew. of the inning. So here's the Royals DH, Edward Olivares. Edward Olivares. The pitch. That one not close. One and oh. And downstairs. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, a head 2 0. He's put himself in a really good spot. And now two balls and a strike. And a foul ball. Swings through it for the K. Some high cheese for strike three. With that kind of velocity, an yeah. elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike Michael. zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. Michael Massey steps in for the Royals. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. And that's in for a strike. The 1-1. One, one. They say you win. 1-2. Just no, missing there. 2-2. Two and two. It's a good take. Two balls, two strikes. Lifted in the air, right center field. Hill hauls it in for the out. Two down. Up next to the Royals. And the here's the first baseman, Nick, Nick Prado. Prado. Swing and a miss. Oh, it's 0 1. 1. From a pitcher's perspective, that's a beautiful splitter right there. As a hitter, you don't like it, but he's commanded his fastball, and out of that same tunnel, that splitter comes, and the bottom just falls out oh, of it. Two. Strike two. Just misses no, with that one. Ball. That's a really good job of laying off one, the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's oh. behind in the count. Off the mark there. It's two and two. He Got him passed. looking for the strikeout. A controversial called strike three to end the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. We're midway in the fourth. It's the Royals three and the Giants two. Welcome back. John Chubby and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the, the bottom of the fourth, Dean McQueen. And the right hander back to work. On the ground. Dives and he can't hang on. And he beats it. He's safe. So up next, Jody home run. Found back our way, and that's out of play. Right-hander kicks, deals. And that misses off the outside edge. Going to count one and two. One ball, two strikes. McQueen aboard here at first with nobody out. On the ground, two ball. Witt to second. Oh. And they get him easily at first. It's a double play. Well, he made his pitch down in the zone. He got that ball on the ground. The double play he was looking for. Really good execution. So two down now. And here is Chip Fielder. 
Good eye right ball. there. One ball, no strike. And yeah. a strike. And a 1-1. One -one. Outside. Ball. Two and one. On the ground to short. Witt over to first. Out number three. Back here at Oracle Park. And now the catcher comes up to him. Number 88. The pitch. Just that missed. Hits. That's the ball. One out. And All there's right, a strike. One. That misses the two zone. One. Now two balls and a strike. Rip to third. Zips it to first. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. The bat, the left fielder, Kyle Isbell. At the plate, Kyle Isbell singled and scored his first time. Just missed. That's the ball. Next yeah. offering is in for a strike. Well, it was bumpy in the early going for the lefty. But he settled into a really nice groove. Next pitch is in the dirt. And a count two and one. And that's a strike. That pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge. Just changing planes and very difficult. Especially for a left-handed hitter to track. And the first two set down on the top of the fifth. Now batting, third baseman, Michael Garcia. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the Royals, number 11. Strike one. Your ball, one strike. The other way. That'll drop in. Plays it on a hop. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. To first, and he breaks for second. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. here in San Francisco ready to go for the last half of the inning and here is Lou Noodles the pitch that just misses and that's ball one backdoor breaking ball just missed right there and boy umpire to give him the call I bet you if he throws it again hitter knows he's going to have to swing it and now it's even up Ripped to third and picked on a hop. The throw, and very nicely done for the out. Now batting, the right field, country boy, Mitchell. So digging in, country boy, Mitchell. That one's in there, 0-1. That's down and in. One and one. Ball to strike. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right, and that will get out of play. Now, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. That hits the dirt, and it's two and two. Popped up. 
Rings it in. That's out number two. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Back to the leadoff spot in the Giants lineup. And now, Billy Hill. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. That's in there. The 1-1. One, one. On a line, base hit. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice oh, today. So impressed with his okay. ability to let the ball travel, go back up the he middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. And now the big-time power threat, Pud Peanuts. First oh. offering, misses the mark. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Pitch out, but no action. Hill off of first with two away. Run around the goal. Pitch in for a strike. Throw to second. Great jump. Well, it's really showing us the dynamic skill set he brings to the field on this one. Over earlier. Now he swipes second, showing off the speed. Really fun to watch him play the game. The 2 1. And a good eye there. You, money. On deck for San Francisco. And that's ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. And now you money. One for two. If you're trying to keep the line moving, this is the guy you want at the plate. Such a good hitter. Can also flash some power. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-1. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. Outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Pitch misses there. One and two to count. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. That's the third, and that chance handled. And that is that. Giants leave a couple. They're down three to two. And welcome back. New inning getting started. So up now for Kansas City, Dyrone Blanco. And he deals. And delivers outside. Blanco, 29 years old, and he's usually in right field, but today he's patrolling center. Swings through that one for strike one. Some guys love to make that adjustment from a corner spot to center field because in center, you get the best view of the ball game. You're looking straight in at the hitter's area. On the corners, you're blocked a little bit. And that is cut on and miss. Two balls, two strikes. Curve, hit right back to him. Gets it to first. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Up next to the Royals, the shortstop, Bobby Witt Jr. Now it's the shortstop, Bobby Witt Jr. This guy has turned into a beast. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. Curve 
curve ball ah. over for a called strike. And now the lefty on the ground right side to first. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. Now batting right fielder Nelson Velasquez. Nelson Velasquez now at the plate. First pitch doesn't oh, find the down. zone. There's a strike. The one one. Slapped foul. That one misses oh, in the bad. dirt. That's inside. Three and two now. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Three balls, two strikes to count. Got it by him for the K. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. To the bottom of the six we go. Four, five, six coming up. It's the Royals three and the Giants two. Bottom of the inning. Now the Giants four hitter, Terry Thorne. Singer back to work. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Activity in the bullpen. Tucker Davidson, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. And the pitch. And that's in for a strike. One ball, one strike. Here's a one two. Battling here as he fouls it away. Righty delivers. Good eye right there. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. The wind of the pitch. Spoils that one, and it remains 2 and 2. And the right hander deals. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Two two now. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Still two and two after the foul ball. That one missed. Okay. Hammer could be extra bases. Safe at second with nobody out, and he represents the tying run. Well, wore him down after an extended plate appearance. It ends with a knock. At that point in that bat for a hitter, when you've seen that many pitches, you've gotten a look, you've fouled off pitches, so the confidence level is extremely high, and it seems like when you go that deep into it at bat, the hitter usually comes out on top. Here comes the manager out of the dugout, and he'll make a move for the bullpen. Brady Singer is done. Not his best performance, but he leaves with the lead. And we'll get a new arm into the game after this. So a lefty out of the pen, Tucker Davidson. He's making his fourth appearance of the season. Tucker Davidson. 
And digging in for San Francisco, Dean McQueen. Ground ball, left side. Tosses to first, one away, bottom of the sixth. Now batting, left fielder. Jody home run the next giant to hit if you don't get ahead in the count you can forget about having any success against it that misses and that is ball one run around a third one gone next pitch misses and it's two and oh Appears they're working around him with the base open, Singy. Well, you know these 2-0 counts, Boo, they're just not what they used to be, and we sound like old guys when I say that, but ultimately this is a strategic game, and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation. The 2-1. Now fly ball to right center. Velasquez has a beat on it. Makes the grab. Runner tags from third. Tag. Not in time. He's safe. It's 3-3. Three, three. Well, we got ourselves a new ball game. Nice job right there at the plate. Sacrifice fly, and he gets in the tie and run. Next is the designated hitter, Chip Fielder. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate. Try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. And that's in there for strike one. Now a high fly ball out to left center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. But they push across one run. One hit, no errors, and no one left on. Seventh inning coming up. All tied up at three apiece. New arm for the Giants, Hugh Butts. This is his third time out this year. But. Here's the Royals designated hitter, Edward Olivares. The designated hitter, Edward Olivares. And a pitch. That's a strike. 0 oh 1. Hot shot to third. Tosses across oh. the first. One up, one down. The batter number 19, second base, Michael. And to the plate for Kansas Massey. City, Michael Massey. There's a strike. Oh, and one. Just nope. off the outside edge. One and one. That misses the zone. Two balls and a strike. Swings through that one. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. 2-2 two -two now. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches. To even yeah. that count up at two balls Plano. and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Prado, the that's next down, to hit, takes ball. ball one. Clips Good. the corner, and the count even at one. And now one and two. Going to really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. Got him swinging. Royals go down one, two, three. So no change in the score. It's three, three. Welcome back. Set for the last half of the seventh. Here's the second baseman, Lou Noodles. The pitch. 
Cold strike right there. All these Giants, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. We've heard lots of loud noise coming from their bats in this one, haven't we? I mean, they've logged six hits at 90-plus exit velocity, and that doesn't happen by accident. Good piece of hitting oh, right there. Point. Nice hard line drive right to the here. outfield. You're trying to get on base, represent that go-ahead run. Can't hang your head on that at all. There's a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. Come back into the mound. Slings the first and a couple of quick outs. Number one. Billy Hill, the next giant to hit. He's already homered here in this one. Singy, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. This one lifted in the air, left field. Pulls up on it, and that's a base hit. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. Now the catcher up to hit, but peanuts. It's a pitch out, nothing doing, and that's ball one. Two gone, the possible go-ahead run at first. Next one misses, ball two. Chris, with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Here comes a pitch. Swings through that one for strike two. Well, pretty clear to me. He was trying to go deep right there, but you got to get a pitch that you can handle. Got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. So the Giants leave one. Score remains tied at three. Back here at the ballpark, leading, leading off, off the number 88. The catcher, Logan Corbin. And the pitch. Good Outside out. corner for a strike. Swung on, belted. Back there. Reaching for it and brings it in. Gotta love the over-the-shoulder catch. I tell you what, those are really fun to make. And next up for the Royals, Kyle Isbell. There's a strike. Pitch misses outside. One ball, one strike. Left-hand hitter waits. Laser! Base hit! Making a move at first, and here's Kansas City's pinch runner, Nate Eaton. So they turn things over to the righty, Granny Shocker. And boo, the offense needs to be ready for the screwball. It's not a pitch you see very often, so it's tough to pick up, and it's a good one. First offering misses the mark. Ball, no strike. That one drifts Turn inside. In. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You got to make sure that you field the ball cleanly and get one out first. 
it's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. In the air to left center. Pulls it in on the run. And there are two outs. So up now for Kansas City. Dyrone Blanco, one for three. So he came up clutch earlier in this ball game and really just needs to take the same approach. Think hard right back up the middle. In the dirt, but no advance. That's ball one. Eaton off of first with two away. Next pitch is outside. Riding to the plate. No, that's out. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Bobby Witt Jr. in the on deck circle. In yeah. for a strike. Three and one. And he pumps it a strike. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. And here it comes. And yeah, there's ball four. Well, that could be a big walk in this ball game. Moves the go-ahead run into scoring position. So some pressure pitches coming up in this next A-B. So first and second with two outs. And now the shortstop, Bobby Witt Jr., in for a strike. 0-1. Oh, one. Kicks and fires. Nope. Ball. Late on that fastball. Man, I'm pretty impressed out there on the mound right now. I mean, these are tough spots where... Pitchers really got to bear it out. Those last two pitches were well executed. Lifted in the air down the left side. Home run in position. Drops into the glove. And that is the third out of the inning. Royals strand a pair. Still tied three and three. Now into the ball game on defense, Nate Eaton. He'll be out in left field. Now playing left field. And digging in for San Francisco, you Money. And a pitch. Check swing. No appeal. Ball one. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. Here's a 1-1. That clips the corner. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. And misses inside. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Jumps, but it's off his glove. Gets it there in time, though, and they come away with an out after a tricky start to the play. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Terry Thorne. And that one is lifted in the air. Blanco settles underneath it. Squeezes it. Out. Number two. Now a pinch hitter, Danny Bulldog. He represents the go-ahead run. Danny. 
Swing and a miss. And that is strike one. Swings through that. And a swing and a miss. That ends the frame. Giants are down one, two, three. It's the ninth, and we are tied. So remaining in the game defensively, Danny Bulldog. He pitch hit last half and now takes over at first. And now the right fielder, Nelson Velasquez. Bulldog. Shocker, back to work. That one the other way, falls it in for the out. From up here, it looked like that liner might be splitting the gap in right center. That's one of those atom balls you just have to live with as a hitter. Now it's the DH, Edward Olivares. And the first pitch misses for ball one. On, but foul wide of third. Next pitch in the dirt, and it's two and one. Ground ball right side, and it's just foul. That was close. Here's a two two. And that one is inside. Michael Massey on deck for the Royals. Out towards left center. Home run on his way over. Tracks it down for the out. And there are two down. Michael. Now, Michael Massey. So the Giants with a new pitcher on the hill, Jock Bastar. He's got a wicked breaking ball in his arsenal, and it's definitely one of his go-to pitches when he needs an out. In there for strike one. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. Swing and a miss. Oh, a two down. More and more guys are looking to slog regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on his approach. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Third out. So they go quietly there. Six, seven, eight scheduled to start the bottom of the night. All tied up at three apiece. Back here at Oracle Park, here's the left fielder, Jody Home Run. Well, one swing's a lot easier than getting two or three hits to win this ball game. You better believe he's going to be all in to hit the ball over the fence somewhere. That one misses. 1 and 0. Oh. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Dylan Coleman, the closer of the staff, is throwing. Smash to the left side. Whips it across, and they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Now that the designated hitter. Chip. And next is the designated hitter, Chip Fielder. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. On the ground, right side. Tosses to the pitcher, covering the bag. And that quickly, two oh, away. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Now it's the second baseman, Lou Noodles. 
breaking ball in there for a strike. Boy, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed. Velasquez makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Nothing across here this half. Nine isn't enough to decide a winner, so we are off to extra innings. All tied up at three apiece. Back here in San Francisco, we're in extras here, and now here is Nick Prado. The pitch. That one fouled off. That's off the mark. And one and one. Action in the pen down there. Dylan Coleman appears to be getting loose. Clark warming up as well. Clips the corner. One and two. Extra innings certainly had a different feel starting in 2020. With a new rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning. And that forced team. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, oh, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Two strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping for. A bit of a mistake. And I'd say in a very hittable location. But clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. Next is the Royals catcher. Number 88. Almost drove one out of here last time up. Wide out to the warning track. In there, and it's 0-1. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Quickly down 0-2 in the count. I think you got to choke up a little bit, spread out the feet. You don't know what the velocity or the location of this next pitch is going to be. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Gassed it right by him. Nice work there to get the strike out, and that's a big second out. I'll tell you, this whole crowd will be fired up. They can get out of this and leave that go-ahead run stranded in scoring position. This is a big moment in this game. Now the left fielder, Nate Eaton, entered the game as a pinch runner. First plate appearance for him here. And a base hit on the line. Heading for the plate. Here's the throw. And he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. Trying to take the lead in the late going. Can't blame him, but the defense was having none of that. Close play at the dish. The tag applied just in time, and we'll push on with a tie ball game. And welcome back. On to the bottom of the 10th. And now, Country Boy Mitchell. The right fielder, Country Boy Mitchell. The pitch. They say it went. Yeah, the lefty with the 0-1. Double-barreled action in the bullpen. Dylan Coleman getting loose out there. Clark getting loose as well. Runner leads away at second. And a base hit. Throw comes in, and the winning run stops 90 feet from home. Nobody out. So they hold the runner at third, wanting to play it safe. Think that comes back to bite him? Boy, it's hard to say. That runner on second to start extras is critical, and you want to make sure you don't waste him. If they don't score this inning, there'll be some second guessing for sure. Next to hit, Billy Hill. That hits the dirt, and that's ball one. Nobody out. The winning run 90 feet away. Next offering oh. is down low. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on, two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. The next offering misses, and now 3 0. Pud Peanuts waits on deck. At the belt and fires. And there's the automatic. Noodles, the runner at third. Mitchell on at first with nobody out. 
The next offering finds the zone of the count is full. And boy, that was the pitch. 3 1. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Up the middle. Save! He beat it. And this ball game is over. Well, you come to the ballpark hoping you'll see something special that day, whether you're a player or a fan, a walk-off win, nobody forgets that. A memorable moment that'll be logged in the backs of the minds of everybody that witnessed this here today. 4-3, our final score, a one-run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Shambi. Talk to you soon.